In this video I would like to speak about Mercedes G-Wagon secret electrical connector um, and as an example uh, I need to install this uh, water level gauge. It has five wires but uh, for the purpose uh, of this video um, and basically my uh, water system installation I am going to need four of these. Um, so the ground black one um, red for the power supply. Uh, this one goes to water level uh, sensor in the tank. And then there are two uh, for the backlight. Uh, I am going to use a yellow one uh, for the yellow uh, style uh, backlight. And now the main question uh, of this video is where should I wire those uh, cables? in order to have this uh, thing turn on when I uh, turn the key and when I turn the position uh, lights so this turns on as well and the answer is this uh, secret uh, connector but unfortunately it is hidden pretty much deep behind this central console so I have to uh, undo pretty a lot of things uh, here uh, in the dashboard. Uh, so I am going to start uh, with the steering wheel radio. Um, this thing which goes like so, so this is pretty much straight forward. Now radio, um, this uh, the uh, mount steering wheel is pretty much model uh, specific. Torx tool to first Remove the airbag. The bolt is at the back of the airbag. And by the way, uh, it's not factory steering wheel. Um, this is from newer model. Um, this is 1991 and in factory they had a little bit bigger steering wheels at the beginning later they changed into this smaller leather steering wheel with a airbag okay i think that's it and the uh, airbag goes away simple tool like this 27 millimeters central nut Okay, so the steering wheel is off, there are three parts. Um, the first one that goes uh, most deep is this uh, cone uh, washer. Then there is this um, uh, ordinary washer and the nut. Now behind the steering wheel there is plastic cover, which in my case it's not in the best shape, but unfortunately it is not available in Mercedes anymore, so I cannot buy it. But there are two bolts, like so. And you can take it off. Okay, now Behind this plastic cover, there is one screw that goes away pretty easy, like so. I will try not to lose this screw. Okay, so the screw is gone. And now, by applying just a small force under this panel, you can take it off, like so. So this is mounted with this pin at the side and then 
with this screw at uh, the steering column. There is yet another screw that must be undone, similar to the opposite one. And this one holds much longer panel. Now I am going to work with this one. This one is much longer. Uh, I have also just uh, undo uh, the screw over there. And um, in order to remove it, you need to grab fingers exactly the same like with the left one. And with this longer one, you have to be much more careful because when it's longer, it's usually much more flexible. But basically the idea is exactly the same with these pins like uh, so. And if I'm not wrong, this panel costs around 1000 euro uh, at Mercedes dealer because it's some sort of a wooden walnut uh, on top of aluminum panel uh, but I painted uh, black it had some cracks but here it is there are pins once is gone in my case two more and at the end close to the uh, steering column there is that uh, screw that i have just undo all right so the radio is gone um, this top panel is gone also so now there are five more bolts three located uh, at the top and then there are two at the side so you have to remove radio uh, and this small plastic uh, compartment okay so now this should move but it is not going far i mean you feel some sort um, of attention behind this console and there's one more thing to do um, to uh, move this a little bit uh, farther there is a slider uh, for the hot and cold air and this job should be done inside the gloves compartment okay so when you see um, when I move cold and hot you can see uh, this valve working over here and the thing that is blocking uh, is this cable so you have to remove this cable So this is something I don't like, I don't know, I think I would rather remove transfer case twice than this. It is also at the very end of some plastic lever and I'm just hoping I'm not going to break it. Okay, here it is. Okay, so now this central console can be moved much more freely down and I am going to put you inside behind this central console and you are going to see this connector. Okay, so here it is. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, very behind uh, this central console and uh, it sits almost on top uh, of air blower and what you see in the middle there are five pins and pretty much uh, of sockets uh, so you can see eight sockets four at left and four at right and one free uh, space in the middle 
and on the left side you see a connection. So basically uh, this is uh, array um, of five uh, rows with uh, nine pins in each row. All right, so first let's search for the ground. So this middle one goes for the ground. Now this bottom one goes for constant plus 12 volts, no matter the key in the ignition. There's always 12 volts at the bottom. Okay, so now when I turn the key to the position number one, I'm going to have plus 12 volts at row number five. Now when I turn the key to the position number two, I am going to have plus 12 volts at this second row. When I turn my lights on, I am going to have plus 12 volt at this fourth row. All right, so finally you have to somehow connect these wires uh, to this secret Mercedes electrical connector. And what you have to do, you have to have this plug. Uh, so this is basically something you can buy in Mercedes dealer. This is a genuine Mercedes-Benz part and a bunch of pins like this, okay? So in my case, when I would like to make this turn on on my first uh, key position, I would connect this one, uh, I'm having this cheat sheet, uh, to the row number five, then I would connect this yellow one for the backlight to the um, row number four and then ground to the row number three. And in order to do this, you take the pin and you go with your wire through this pin and then you solder it, okay? So this is pretty easy. And when this is uh, soldered, um, you basically put your pin with the wire inside this plug. Okay, so um, this is a black cable for the ground, so I would put it in the row number three. And then there is some passage for the wire, so this is pretty convenient uh, plug and then you close it like so and you have a ready connection to plug it inside the GVAC. My plug is done with all the uh, wires in position so now I can connect it like so and here it is, job is done.